you can come by and support my streams tomorrow with tips, please, please, even if you don't like the games I'm playing, if you could just come by and support and give me some peace of mind so I don't have to worry about everything this week, you know, just tired of it. Hello, and welcome to James the Lesser Express Line, where we get you in and out as fast as possible with DSP was just crying and begging. Guys, if you want to see me play fighting games on PS5, donate me a year of PlayStation Plus, donate me Street Fighter 6, donate me a new fighting stick that's $320. But then he does this. All coffeeed up. The reason I was a few minutes late tonight is because, are you ready? I'm ready to make the announcement. I bit the bullet, and uh, I am essentially going to be converting over playing fighting games on PS5. I made the decision during the break. Now, several theories out there are, with buying Street Fighter 6 on PlayStation and only playing it on PlayStation from now on, you always have Blanca's Master, guys. Now I can't go back. It's been like three weeks since I last played Blanca on Xbox, guys. I, I want to know what to do. I would just lose, guys. There's no fun in that. Because if you continue to play on Street Fighter 6 on Xbox, and people are like, well, why don't you play Blanca again? We it's been a while since you played Blanca. Now, guys, I didn't reach Master with Blanca. There's, there's no point, guys. Just stop bringing it up. So he goes to the Street Fighter 6 on PlayStation. Maybe he mains Luke. Maybe he mains Chun-Li. Whatever he mains as besides Blanca. And but guys, now we're on the road to master with this character, guys. Main theory. Second theory being... I don't know why it would be, but... Maybe he thinks PlayStation, like Mortal Kombat, Tekken, whatever, run better on PlayStation than on Xbox. The only thing I'm thinking of is... It'll run better, guys. So I'll do better, right? No. No, you won't. All right. So what I did is I got PlayStation Plus. I got Street Fighter Six on PS5. I installed it, and I got it all set up and synced with my Capcom ID and everything so that when we play Street Fighter again this coming, uh, what would it be, Monday night for Community Night? We'll, uh, we'll play it over there. It won't matter. It won't affect anyone. It's going to look exactly the same to everyone out there because it's the same game and everything. It's just that it's a different platform. Um, but it, the game looks the same, seems to run the same. I did play a practice match on my old Hori Real Dark A Pro 4 joystick. I don't like it. Um. <laughs> now, here's the thing. The stick that he supposedly likes as the new buns that he installed, you can get a converter for it. You get the converter... And you're good to go. Someone, uh, who was it? I want to say Sunspot, but I don't think it was Sunspot. I want to say Sunspot because I was watching his bacon sweats. But someone posts like, hey, it's like $19.99, you get this converter, and you're good. Instead, DSP spent $320 on a new stick. <laughs> it works, don't get me wrong, but you can tell it definitely doesn't feel as good as this joystick with the new Sanwa buttons I just installed. Um, and so, I did it, I, uh, I ordered a joystick, I ordered a PS5 joystick, so it's coming sometime on Tuesday, no guarantee of delivery yet, but it's coming, uh, for this week. All coffee. So, for community night, you'll be playing with the old stick. So now you have, guys, I'm playing the old stick, of course I'm dropping moves, guys, it's the old stick. It's not my fault, guys, it's the old stick. This is why I needed a new one. But of course, spending, you know, what, close to $500 after tax? Now it gives them an excuse to be like, guys, I spent $500, so I need you, yes you, to step up and donate me $1,000 in tips. Yes, the math makes sense, shut up, you're banned for saying the math doesn't make sense. But wait, there's more. I just, I seriously, I just spent, like, over, like, 400 almost $500. It was the joystick and the other two plus all the tax and everything. I was like, dude, I, you know, I'll buy Mortal Kombat soon, but not yet. Uh, that's crazy. You know, I'm like, dude, I'll buy it in a week or two if I can afford it. You know, I mean, I'll, I'll afford it by then. It, you know, but. If I can, if I can, if I can. I mean, I, I will afford it. I will be able to afford it. I swear, if I can. Now, the one thing I'd like to point out is Street Fighter Six is cross-play. You don't need to buy on multiple consoles. It's cross-play. 
If I just complain about fighting against... These guys must be PC players. They got so much better connection than I do, guys, because they're PC players. So he knows that it's crossplay. There's no point in having it across multiple platforms. It just doesn't make any sense. And so, of course, he did it. Mortal Kombat. The beta, if you pre-order the game, is not cross-platform. But in the future, like when the full release comes out, it's going to be cross-platform. And yet, I can already see it coming. He's going to want both consoles getting a copy. No, guys, it's completely different on Xbox. It'll be with a different stick. But that stick didn't cost $320. No, but it'll be different, guys. I swear, so I need it on both. But it's cross-platform. Uh, no, give me... They just don't know about games. Meh. Now, mind you, he got Armored Core 6 donated to him. Armored Core 6 was donated to him. He's already said, hey, there's no guarantee I'll be able to do a full playthrough, guys. 2023 really is the year of games. With games like Baldur's Gate 3, Lies of P, Starfield, Armor Core 6, Resident Evil 4, Remaster, Remake, whatever you want to call it. Oh, it's just so many. There's been a ton of good games. Breath of the Wild. Not Breath of the Wild. Sequel to Breath of the Wild. Tears of the Kingdom. Ah. I'm trying to think of all the amazing games that came out this year. Hi-Fi Rush. Uh, and the year's not even over yet. This has really been the year of games. But DSP has already said he's not going to play Baldur's Gate 3. He's not going to play Lies of P. And he'll only maybe do a stream or two of Armor Core 6, even though he got the game for free. I was not interested in Resident Evil games. I played like 1 and 2, and I think only beat the first one because a friend let me borrow the game held me with it. Then I played three or four. I played five because it was co-op and same friend. But when a fan donated me the Resident Evil 4 remake, remaster, whatever, guess what? I jumped on it and I played it. You know why? Because a fan was kind enough. Like, hey, I ordered this and I ordered that and uh, the this code, for some reason, working for me or whatever the situation was. He had two codes. So he gave one of the codes to me. But hell yeah, I definitely played it. If someone comes to you and says, hey, here's a really good game. I got a code for it. Will you play it? You say yes. And this wasn't like, oh, here's a game from 12 years ago that cost $1.99 and I bought it and I'm donating it to you. It's three hours of like something that's not allowed on YouTube. Like, nah, it's a brand new fucking game. So I said, thank you very much. Played it through. Talk to them about it and all that, because friends and all that, whatever, on Twitter, so we can talk and stuff. Or following each other. And again, thanked them multiple times. And then when they finally got their copy, the work, whatever, they played it. Like, oh, hey, I just passed you. Oh, hey, well, what are you doing this thing? I did it this way, and it was completely different. It was so cool. Not DSP. Guys, donate me this game. No, don't donate me that brand new $70 game that's going to be fucking amazing. Donate me this $70 game. Yes, I already have a copy of it on Xbox, but I need a copy of it on PlayStation. Just donate, donate, donate. The pig roach. His greed. His gluttony. It's just consuming all in front of him. Will never fail to amaze me. Being given money hand over fist. Given a brand new mini PC. That, for what he does, is all that he needs. Yeah, you may not be playing Starfield on ultra-high settings, but I bet you can play, play it on medium. I bet you could definitely be playing Baldur's Gate 3 on, like, medium or lower. Nope, DSP is going to use it to play a, what, 30-plus-year-old game? And then bitch the entire time? Guys, why aren't you donating more? I spent $7.99 on this game, guys. Fuck off and get banned and don't come back.
You're an obnoxious individual, and we don't want your kind around here. We want people who are actually here to have a good time and be chill. So fuck off and kiss my ass. <sighs> well, that's enough for me. I'm going to stop bitching. As always, like, subscribe, comment down below, and have one hell of a day.